I felt as unwelcome. So it is already the 5th of September and I've kind of been working on Penny the Pumpkin Sheep course um, and a few other autumny things. So let me show you round. So I haven't really picked up a camera because I'm trying to get the course up again. It's a simple course, but it all went a little bit wrong. So I had to fiddle around, redo the video stuff that I've done. It's all a bit complex. So I can understand why not many people do courses. <laughs> I couldn't get it on Etsy as well because it's a different way of doing it. You can only upload a certain video amount. But anyways, it's it's um not to worry. But anyway, I've been preparing for um 3rd of October. We've got the craft fair. So I have, here we go, turn you around. So I've got all these colours out and um, all the autumn colours. And I'm just trying to sort of be inspired and, and make things. Here's the... Penny the Pumpkin, oh it's a bit reflect, oh you can see me, Penny the Pumpkin course on there so it's nearly finished um, and then again these guys come out so orange and they really aren't, they are a lovely colour so I've made another pumpkin sheep, I've made this little guy, he's got his um, little pumpkin head on and a couple more pumpkins and then I just updated him and put a pumpkin on so uh, getting ready and hopefully going to be doing some more autumn things with um, all these colours I have here. Morning felters. I'm on my morning walk with Bella and um, there she is down in the water. You can hear the stream. It's just such a lovely little walk. First thing in the morning. Um, the stream on the other side. It's so nice. So it's only about eight in the morning, it's not that early. But just, um, I imagine that little place down there, that's kind of where the fairies would live if we had fairies. <laughs> and the sheep are just grazing in the distance, I don't think you can see them. We've got this fantastic old tree here, it's huge. Time is flying everybody, so it's the 12th of September, um, just to update you, I this is my filming setup, here we are, so uh, just doing the little course, so I did the little course for this one, again she's not that bright, she's a nice colour in real life, it just looks so bright on the video, so I'm just doing the little course for that one. Uh, links in the description below. It's only uh, a couple of pounds. It's just a little way of me earning money in a different way to PDFs. Um, and this is so I've got my overhead there for recording. Then I've got the light that I use just up there. And then I've got everything out ready. I do try and make it look a little bit neater. Um, just doing another little sheep. You just get ideas and you kind of want to put them into practice, don't you? And then just to show you this. So Nikki um, from Little Blue Artworks, uh, she contacted me, said I did, I want to do another kit. And here it is, this is so sweet. So this is the moon gazing hair. So I'm gonna do that in a couple of weeks um, and video it for everybody and show you what it's like. So I'm really happy. So um, I've just done a podcast for my patrons. It's just podcasts, really quick, easy way of just saying a few bits and bobs without having to do a whole video. I've just uploaded a video on seven different ways I earn money, which I was explaining to my patrons. It's quite nice to do a video like that because um, it might get picked up by uh, not just needle felters, by general crafting people as well. So um, sometimes I like to just throw in a, a different video every now and again. Not too different because you can confuse the YouTube algorithm. It doesn't know where to suggest your video. So you do have to be a little bit careful. So if you go all over the place with videos, YouTube doesn't know who to suggest you to. So, so that's that. So, yeah, and going to do some more Highland Cows for my craft fair. So let's get going. I have finished the video for this little chap, my little pumpkin Highland Cow to go with Sheepy Highland Cow. Um, I made this little sheep. I just had a bit of wool left over. And you know when you kind of have odd bits of time and you're like oh I'll just make something so I just made this sheep no face and then on my patreon we are doing a challenge which I set every sort of two or three months I do a little challenge and I do prizes um, and it's it's just it's to challenge yourself to 
do something different. So basically this challenge was to do something with straight lines. So I made a knife. So I've got a, a piece of wire all the way through. You can actually kind of see the wire there. Um, so I made a knife and I was really pleased with it. And it's not something I would normally ever make. And it's to push yourself. We've got lots of um, houses people have made, Concord, pieces of cake, pizza. So it's just really good and fun. So I've got those. I'm just editing the video for this guy at the moment, which isn't as daunting as any of the, the big videos. It's a bit quicker and easier. So um, And then I'm going to make a couple more sheep. I think I'm going to make a sheep with... Where's my pink wool? I'll just get it. There it is. <laughs> Look at the size of this. It was £11.50. Um, but I could definitely make quite a few sheep out of it, so it was um, worth it. It's just got lots of little flecks in it, um, and I just really liked it. So I'm going to make um, a nice sheep coat. I did a sheep coat effect where, well, you'll see. So, um, but yeah, it's really sweet. So I'll get on with doing that. Morning, so I've just walked the dogs. Um, so I made this one. She's all pink and fluffy. I made her similar to a grey one I did. I'll put the picture up it's just made out of um that wool there which um i'm gonna do some more stuff with it sorry moving you about the place so yeah i'm really pleased with her and i did a special how you do the head tutorial for my patreons as well because there was a request just to see the head in more detail um i'm making another highland cow yes a bit boring but it's for the craft fairs is a lying down highland cow and then just to show you, I should be able to get the picture of the before, but I did the long version of the Highland Cow to update on my course. And then I, I personally think he looks a little bit better with it shorter, so I've trimmed it all down. But I'll show you the before picture beside. Um, and then I just sort of, <laughs> I might do similar with this one. He's looking a bit, because I sort of twizzled his hair and made him look a bit more rough and ready. But I might trim him down a bit and see if he looks any better. Um, but yeah, Highland Cow, don't think I've got anything else to report right now. <laughs> Morning everybody, I've got a really bad cold at the moment. So it's the first time I haven't managed to get a video out on my channel. for Because um, I normally do it every week. When I first started I was doing it every, probably two a week. And that really helps with the algorithm. But I really try to get a video out every week. But I've got this really bad cold. I've got a couple of really quick videos that I'm going to do. But I've managed to still felt quite a bit. So I'll show you a couple of things. Um, just um, a regular lying down Highland cow. Obviously for my craft fair. And then um, I made this little one. It's just a bauble. And it's out of a mixture of blue faced Leicester wools. I quite like the mix of colours. And then you saw I did the pink one. And then I just did this one. This is one of the Crafty Fibres UK alpaca. Um, what colour is it? Ooh, hang on a sec. Here it is. Fawn Baby Alpaca. So I made that one because they're always just so popular at craft fairs. And this is the Blue Faced Leicester Wool that I got. And it's a mixture of colours and it's so lovely. So I'm just doing um, a big sheep. I'm just using up. I've run out of white core wool or I've got just this bit left. So I'm going to have to order some from World of Wool. So I'm just making that at the moment as well. I've just managed to record a couple of videos, which is good. They're only really, really quick ones. But for me, it's all about I have to look semi-decent. And it's about having the energy as well. <coughs> and I've got this cough and trying not to cough through it so I've still got ooh, sorry, I've still got a voiceover to do for the pumpkin cow but I just don't know if I can do it because you have to talk for a long long time look at this my breakfast I'm all trendy this is overnight oats that I actually did last night with bananas and raspberries I'm trying to eat healthily as well especially I think it will help with the cold um so this <laughs> it just looks really odd they always do, don't they? They look good. And he's got ears sort of about there, I think. Um, and I'm, this this wool is a little bit tricky, but it kind of kind of works okay. So we'll see. I do like the mix of colours. I think it's very unusual, but hopefully 
it's coming along hopefully it'll be all right at least i can carry on making when i've got a cold i've just got one more um intro and because you sort of i try and record the intro and the it's called the outro which is the exit of a video whilst i look semi-decent and then the rest of it is normally face down and looking at the needle felting stuff so i'm just going to have my breakfast it's 8 40 I've taken my morning energy that I normally take the dogs for a walk on and I'm trying to put it into the videos this, um, well, today and just get stuff done because otherwise I don't prioritise my work. And if I could manage to just prioritise my work between 8 and 12 every day, I think I would get so much done. I don't think I can because obviously I've got to teach my daughter as well, but she's got a cold too, so we're not doing too much work at the moment, so... Right, it's going to eat my breakfast and then edit some videos. There we have. Uh, this little chap is finished. I'm fairly happy. Um, it's quite hairy. And then I've just done, yes, another Highland cow. Getting a bit boring for you guys. I might give you some puppy footage to make things a bit more exciting. Right, let's have a look at this one then. It's the 26th, so we're getting towards the end of the month. I have run out of all my core wool, so I challenged myself. I thought, right, I shall use up lots of the wool that I have hanging around. I have tons of sort of whites. Normally, <clears throat> most of it is tops. Um, and I used up some old stuff underneath this. And do you know what? It was much harder work than I thought it would be. Look at how fuzzy it is. <laughs> the legs were really hard, really fuzzy. So uh, if you end up as a beginner using the wrong wool, you can see how disheartening it could be looking at everyone else's and going, why is their, their stuff all smooth? So I'm going to put a coat on this. So it doesn't matter anyway. But yeah, just much harder work than I thought. So I'm going to be ordering from World of Wool tonight. <laughs> This is going to be a Herdwick um, coming along with the head. And I've got some Herdwick fleece up there. So I'll get that one done, hopefully in time for the craft fair. Um, so that sheep I was doing, I finished. And he's just not my most favourite piece at all. Um, he ended up being really bizarre in his colours because I ran out of wool. Yeah, I'm being really belligerent over the wool. I'm actually going to World of Wool on Saturday to... Because you can book, um, like they've opened up, but you have to book your visit to go in. And so because I'm going on Saturday, I'm being really belligerent and not ordering any core wool. I'm trying to use up all my wool. But it's really hard, as can be seen by that sheet. But anyway, I've done something else. Because I had lots more, I've done another pumpkin. It's quite a big pumpkin compared, uh, compared to the others. <coughs> um, and then... Along those lines, I've just made an autumnal sheep with, um, there you go, can you see him? There you go, with that, well, so it's another hanging bauble one because I've got one up there quite similar. But this is the autumnal blue face Lester from Zoe Robson, it's fantastic. Um, so it's Fleece for You, Zoe Robson, on Facebook if anyone is interested. She is really good with um, her wools and what she dyes, and uh, it's all hand dyed. so um so he's ready he can go i'm gonna put him up on the tree because you see i did that one in those colors so i've got this one in in sort of autumnal colors he's quite sweet i'm not sure i mean if they don't sell they don't sell let's just pop him up there they will sell eventually um and because i can put some of these on etsy afterwards but yeah shelves are pretty full say so i'm nearly ready maybe a couple more to do I'd love to take you to World of Wool on Saturday, but they still won't let me video in there one day, hopefully. So I've just finished these two. Um, they're going to be a video that will be out. Well, the Highland Cow one will be. He won't be. You can work out how to do that. But the Highland Cow in a Cup is a video coming out in probably a couple of days after this one. And then I thought I'll just... This is what craft fairs do to you. They sort of push you to do more stuff. So I'm going to do... This doesn't really show... It's true colour very well. Sorry, it's bright sunshine out there. I'm just going to do a Highland Cow head with this gorgeous, it's peacock colours from World of Wool. Oh, 
there we go i think you can it's a lot lighter than it's coming out on the screen but yes yeah, so i'll just try and get that one done before the end of this monthly vlog okay i am nearly craft fair ready so i've got that highland cow head and that one um, which i'm really happy with and i've just done this one and actually i'm quite pleased with him i think he's really uh different and someone might just fall in love with him this do you see the see if it'll focus see the glisten in there for the peacock it's sort of got quite a few colors in there so i am i think i'm quite happy I, th I think i'm ready let's just go out one more that's everything that's going and a couple of those things up there and obviously not the the house and the other little felt from one of my patrons but um i think i've got everything ready so it's the 30th uh so it's the end of the month so i'm gonna finish this uh vlog up because all i'm gonna do now is literally um label everything for the craft fair because all my price tags have come off but that does take me about two hours so if you've got a craft fair people do it early so if i try and do it tomorrow then it'll all be ready for sunday i think sunday it is yeah um now i just i put out a needles video uh, about cheap needles and expensive needles and i got a couple of comments back actually which were really good and it's interesting because you think it's not you know that exciting that video and I thought oh, it wouldn't be that popular but actually it's been really popular and I'll just show you this image in a minute that got sent to me from one of my patrons and basically it really demonstrates the difference between a cheap needle and an expensive one so I'll show you that now hopefully this comes out for you guys so the needle on the left is the cheap needle and you can really see from this picture all you can see the barbs which are the notches but all the extra bumps that are there as well there are absolutely loads of extra bumps and the one on the left on the right is the smooth one so um, even all these extra bumps could be affecting your wool and breaking it down a little bit more so really clear image thank you so much Wendy so that was really really useful and also I had somebody else message me and say they had cheap needles when they first started and it nearly put them off because they were so bad and I the cheap needles I bought in the video, I think you can buy far cheaper needles than that, actually. Um, I think you can get 100 needles for like £10 or something, 10p each. It's just, uh, you do, I think it's worth spending a bit of money on needles. Um, so the next video I'm probably going to do is Little Blue Artworks. But also I had a really lovely thing from the makers. They've contacted me and they would like me because they saw my recommendation on the needle felting mats that I had their mat on there. Um, so they have sent me um, a kit to make. I won't show you what it is, so I'm going to be doing that as uh, one of my videos over the next coming few months. And someone else has contacted me as well for a kit, so I think I'm going to be the kit lady. I used to be the bauble lady, but I think I'm going to be the kit lady now. That's it for the month, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope your felting is going well. Any questions or comments, put them below. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.